Alright, in this lesson we're going to build a tire and a rim for your vehicles. The uh, first step is to come up here to create. I'm going to use a NURBS primitive to start. Actually, let's go to polys. Stay in polys, tools. Um, we'll start with a, um, a pipe. And I'm going to turn on my grid so that you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to drag, drag for the height, and then drag to edit the thickness. There we go. So we'll start with about that much thickness. All right, now that we have that, we'll go back to our side view and we will rotate that object. Okay, and we're going to 90 degrees, so I can just come over here to <coughs> rotate, come in here, go 90. It'll give me the straight on view that I'm looking for. All right, now let's take this object and move it. So I'm going to move it over. Move it over and up. I'm going to scale that a little bit. And just continue to center that on the wheel. Make sure that I have the height that I need and the uh, thickness of the tire. Try two for the radius for the height. Thickness, I'll try, hmm, let's try three. Alright, that's a little bit better. Alright, so that's about the thickness that I want. Let's go with 350. Alright, that's almost right on. So if I move this object up just a little bit more, there we go. Alright, now that that is the um, size that I want it. I'm going to come back in here and center that object so that I can work at zero, zero, zero space. <clears throat> okay. Now what I'm going to do is shape up that tire just a little bit. So using our polygon tool set that we have begun creating, we'll use a split polygon and we're just going to preserve these edges around the sides a little bit. Okay. And we're going to give ourselves a little shape in here. And all right, let's work with that for just a second. Let's grab these. Oops, let's grab that ring. I'm going to double click on that so I can get the entire ring. And I'm just going to move that ring over just slightly so that it matches the inner ring. Alright. Now, typically, if we're just doing a, a model for design, we would probably take these subdivisions down to maybe around 12. So when we um, subdivide that and still have a nice clean surface but in the case that we are going to put this in a game we we'll want to keep the poly count a little higher because subdividing that surface um, will not of course be useful in the game um, we have to closely monitor the number of polygons for each item in a game and so um, building the object with the number of polygons within the poly budget is very important so let's go to edge and we're going to select with my shift key down and double clicking these edge loops and I'm going to just Scale those in a little bit. 
to begin giving myself a shape. Um, all right, now I'm gonna do the same thing here. And get rid of my grid so it's easier to see. There we go. And I'm going to do the same thing with the inner edges. Just bring those in a little bit. And then I'm going to select the faces within that. And <clears throat> check to make sure I have nothing else selected. And just delete those. So no longer need those. So when I go in and subdivide that, you can see I have a nice clean tire. Now I think what I want to do is preserve this shape just a little bit more. So I'm going to come in here and um, I'm actually going to give myself that ring, but in this case I'm going to move it out slightly to make this um, area look like it's got a little bit of a bulge. And then here, I'm just going to knock one in here. Drop an edge loop in here to preserve that nice flat shape. Try, try to center that. All right, so now when I subdivide that, uh, now I'm getting the shape, a little bit better shape. like a tire to me. So now in order to begin to create the rim, what I'm going to do is come in here and give myself another. I uh, will continue working in polys at this point. Um, pipe. Climb. That grid. Give myself another. Pull up. And again, to create this center portion. Okay, I'll rotate that. Ninety. Okay, now I'm going to position that within my tire. Let's start by centering it. Now, get rid of my grid here again, and I'm going to go to the side view so that I can scale that up and see exactly what's happening. Alright. Now, I'm going to make sure that it is the same number of segments, in this case 20. Uh, so that these segments match the tire. But when everything is subdivided, it'll be nice and round, but when the object is not, it'll still match. Alright, so. Alright, it's about the. Let's check it. And I'd like to widen it just a little bit, I think. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is come in here and give myself um, an edge loop. There we go. And just on the very uh, out outer side of that. Alright, yeah, I'm going to do the same on the inside. Then what I'm going to do is grab these faces and we're going to create the lip on the rim which um, comes out and around the edge of the tire just a little bit. 
So now that I have my faces selected, I'm going to come up here to um, extrude, edit mesh, extrude, and So I'm going to pull those out just a little bit. Let's see. Alright, good. Now what I'm going to do pulls up just a little bit more. Alright, we're gonna lose volume when we subdivide. So we want to go just a little bit beyond what you typically would um, create that without subdividing it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead back to select. And I'm going to select the faces right along here on the inside. Okay, once we have all those selected now, we're going to come up here to extrude again. <clears throat> and we're going to click on the the uh, little icon here that sends it to world space, and then we're going to extrude that out. Okay, so now when we so divide this. We'll have uh, what looks to be a lip around there. And in order to preserve that squared off shape at the very um, outer side as well as on the inside, we'll go back to 1 on the keyboard. I'm toggling between 1 and 3. And we'll go ahead and use our tool our loop tool to go ahead to preserve these shapes. The way I do that is to put the edge loops very close to the corner that I want to maintain. I'm going to also maintain this corner. And this corner. So now when we subdivide that surface, there we go, much cleaner shape there. Alright, so those are the first steps to creating our rim and our tire, and in the next segment we will <coughs> begin to um, build our, um, our caliper and our brake disc there and uh, spokes, everything that we see inside the rim there.